outdoor adventurers already know the best way to explore a body of water is up close and personal, often in the agile confines of a kayak. Your perspective of a lake or stream may change once you physically propelled yourself along the surface of the water. That unique aquatic view attracted Ron Holsey to Lake Red Rock for decades. A keen photographic eye and an interest in conservation kept Ron connected to his paddle and his camera. When his paddle makes its first slice into a glassy, reflective surface, a sunrise ritual begins. Sometimes this place is so calm, his traveling companion is lulled into a nap, as each stroke brings this kayak closer to nature, closer to one Iowan's version of serenity. For Ron Halsey, a morning at Lake Red Rock is more than exercise, more than fresh air. It's a homecoming. And you know, you, you have two types of kayakers. You have the guys that come out here and they go from point A to point B and they're gonna be in the middle of the river. And then you got people like me where the shoreline is where the, the animals are anyhow. And so I just follow the shoreline and every day is something different, which is pretty cool. Stretching 11 miles from end to end, Lake Red Rock is encircled with a network of protected nooks and crannies to paddle into. They represent some of Ron's favorite spots to observe wildlife. As I came into this bay, there was a mother and a baby beaver. And I stayed on the far side, and she was naturally on the east side. And so I just worked my way so that I would be a little bit closer. And uh, somehow she felt that between the two of us that there was nothing to fear. So she had the little baby nursing her as she was right along the shore. I mean, not too many people get to see uh, a situation where the baby beaver is nursing on its mother. So that was a great opportunity. And that's another wonderful thing with uh, the kayaks. You know, they're, they're not imposing at all. They don't make any noise. Uh, you can go up to a lot of these animals and they, they just are not bothered. But that was, that was really neat. Red Rock was once a Des Moines River town in south central Iowa when it was dammed and flooded more than 40 years ago. The remaining rock edifices and occasional dead tree trunks are reminders that this man-made lake is still ripe for exploration. But you can see how high the water gets because where that dead tree is, there'll be water. You, you can kayak on that upper ridge. But when we go around this bend, there has been uh, two red-tailed hawks. And uh, there must, must be a nest. I mean, it's, it's pretty late for the babies, but uh, they've been there. It's unusual that you see two of them together, and they don't seem, they're reluctant to fly very far away. Over the past decade, Ron's kayaking passion melded with photography. In retirement, his work has become a regular fixture in Iowa Outdoors magazine and calendars, with his candid wildlife images capturing the attention and imagination of Iowans. You can take it from a boat, a regular gasoline boat or diesel, but it means a lot more if you can take it out of a boat where you're kayaking. And uh, it's like anything else, it, it, experience is a valuable teacher. Ron brings his gear on the water, drifting into the Red Rock backwaters, hoping to capture a moment rarely found in the middle of Iowa's largest lake. A lot of people always ask me, why would you take your camera and, and, your, and your lens? Because you got a big investment. And I guess it's a challenge to do it and still stay in one piece. Um, I would recommend it. Whether on the water or on land, Ron's wildlife images have always sought to draw Iowans to care more about their outdoors environment, to see wildlife as a precious resource worth protecting. Like until probably the middle of June, I always let Louie swim, give him some therapy. 
usually with those feet dangling down every once in a while, you'd think that you'd come across a turtle, but I haven't had that problem yet. From steamy July mornings to the icy afternoons below the dam in January, Iowa's largest water reservoir is a haven for birds of all shapes, sizes, and behaviors. Ron's work to protect eagle habitat, osprey nests, and other Midwestern raptors has helped not only his photography passion projects, but to perpetuate a healthy ecosystem in Iowa and the Red Rock community. A beautiful place and he finds a calming sunrise paddle to be one of the best ways to start your day in the Iowa outdoors. <laughs>